this is my review and unboxing for Nandemo Box for April 2015 and I'm joined by Subscription Box Dad. Hello. And he is going to help me try some of these snacks. So this box is a snack subscription box. The company also makes a kawaii box and they recently started a kawaii create a bag which is kind of a smaller version. So you can find all that information linked down below. This box is $25 a month. It ships worldwide from Japan. And let's take a look in the box. And I already opened this box and took pictures of everything so we can open all the snacks and try them on camera. So the first thing in this box is the little information card. And it's just in this little bag with cute little flowers on it. Cherry blossoms, I think. And just kind of a little general hello. And then here's the information card and it has pictures of all the snacks in the box with their name and a description. And I like when um, especially Japanese or um, boxes outside the United States put pictures with their product because it helps to identify the product when it's not written in English. And then it, it looks like the theme for this month is cherry blossoms and picnics. Right, so the first snack these are called Bourbon's Bomb Rolls, I believe. And these are cakes covered in white frosting. And they're supposed to have a lemon-like taste to them. So we're going to open it and try it. And they are individually wrapped. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I just tore it in half so you can kind of see what it looks like in the center. There, It just looks kind of like a like, up yeah. pastry. Yep. Okay, so we tried it, and I really liked it. Um, it has a nice, thick cake taste. There's just a hint of lemon. It really wasn't... I had to really think about it to taste the lemon. What did you think? That was really good. I liked it a lot. It kind of reminded me of like a Swiss roll, but without the chocolate. Yeah. It was less... Then It had less cream than like a Swiss roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. These are yakinori and salad senbai. I think that's how you say it. And let's try these out. Okay, so my husband tried this one. This is a soy sauce flavored rice cracker topped with a sheet of dried seaweed. Yeah, I would say, you know, it's got kind of, a, <clears throat> kind of salty taste. And then the, uh, the seaweed on top is interesting. I've had seaweed before and that one... You know, it's like just like a sheet. It kind of reminds me of like a um, sheet of paper, <laughs> but tastier. No, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Very crumbly. All right, and this one is the salad rice cracker, and it's supposed to have a salty flavor, which it does. And the salad, it's not like a salad you would think, like American salad. It's kind of sweet in a way. But this is mainly a salty, very salty snack, but it just kind of has a slightly sweet coating to it. But I really like this one. I thought it was good. This is Chelsea Strawberry Candy Mix. Okay, so this bag is kind of filled with individually wrapped candies. And looks like there's a pink, a white, and a cream color. So... That's in the strawberry one. That looks to be a strawberry one. You can see kind of the different candies on the front. And there's a darker colored one. And this one that looks more like a peppermint. So we're going to try them and see what they taste like. Okay, we each tried these. So this pink wrapper, I would say, is mainly strawberry. It has a very fruity, kind of a strawberry taste. I agree. This one's a bit more difficult to describe. It also tastes like strawberry, but there's another flavor in there, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. It is like a, I mean, it's all fruit flavored. Yeah. It's good. No, it's really good, but difficult to describe. And then this one. That's like a creamy caramel um, strawberry taste. Yeah. My husband liked this one a lot more 
than I did. I'm not a car caramel person myself, so I'll stick with the other two. But they're good. And there's a lot in here. Okay, this one is not on our information guide, but we have had it in um, other boxes. Rilakkuma, I believe is how you say it. So we're going to open it up. And it comes in this little package. It has cute little bears on yeah. it with candy. That's adorable. It is. Japanese has, Japanese snacks have like the cutest little packaging. Okay, so inside there are these little cracker sticks. We're going to try them because I forgot what they taste like. Okay, these are, taste like a sweet cracker. There's like a sweet cracker stick. Very good. Okay. This is, these are, um, there's actually two of these. These are stick potato chips. And I'm not sure how to pronounce the Japanese name, so I'm just going to tell you what they are according to the colored package. So, this red packet is a spicy hot chili flavored potato chip. And this yellow one is a seaweed salt flavored potato chip. So, we're going to open these and try them out. Okay, so these are the spicy ones. And this is the seaweed version. I think I'll be avoiding the spicy ones because there looks like there's a dead guy in front of it and it has flames. So. <laughs> My husband is scared of spices, so I will be trying these. Okay, we actually both tried each of them. Um, I tried the spicy ones first, and when, you know, I didn't fall over from a spicy death, my husband decided the, to try them. I think the dead guy on there is a little exaggerated. Yeah, these aren't bad. Honestly, they remind me of a spicy Lay's barbecue potato chip. Uh, so, that's kind of my best interpretation. What do you think? Is that good? These are really good. I don't, I don't really care for spices. They're not that bad. No, I mean, if you kind of let it sit on your tongue, you'll taste the spice, but it's nothing severe at all. All right, and then these we kind of have a difference of opinion on. I thought they were really good, and I don't really taste the seaweed so much. They honestly taste similar to, like, the regular potato sticks here in America. Um, yeah, I mean, it just it wasn't the flavor I really was hoping for. Um, I don't know. This wasn't really the best ones I've had. Yeah. Just those people in the same household can't agree on snacks. So. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to save this for the end because I think one of those is gum. Alright. This is a giant pack of cookies. This is Country Man Strawberry. These are strawberry flavored cookies. And they can be, they can be eaten warm. Um, by heating them up in the microwave for 10 to 20 seconds. But we don't have a microwave easily available at the moment, so we're just going to try them out of the package. All right, so here's a peek in the package, and I love packaging like this because it's safe, especially for us, because we're trying all these snacks on camera. We're obviously not going to go upstairs and eat the entire box in one night. So I like that everything is individually wrapped, so you can just, you know, grab a cookie and go, and then the rest of it is going to stay fresh. I wish Oreos were done like that, like little package of Oreos. Like mm -hmm. those are right. You might actually eat less. Than I know, right? Thing. Nice individual size. All right, so. All right, this is what it looks like. It looks like a soft batch cookie. Not a big strawberry. All right. I thought these were good. And I think they have like little chunks of strawberry in them. Um, I know they have something inside it's a, of them. It's some chocolate chip. A chocolate chip? Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess I didn't have too much chocolate chip. I just had mainly strawberry, so. Mm -hmm. But I really liked it. They're nice and soft and... I'm not a big strawberry... It kind of reminds me of strawberry cake, and I'm not a really big strawberry cake fan. But it was pretty... It was tasted pretty good. You're just picky. I know. I know. Alright. Alright, then we have... I'm pretty sure we've had these before. Let's see what they are. I forgot what they're called. Soda Mama Gumballs. Yeah. And there are grape and peach. And they're soft gumball and they have a sour taste. What are you going to taste? Grape looks good. I don't want more strawberry. Oh. Alright, so this is what they look like. Just a round little 
gumball. And my husband's gonna try grape and I'm gonna try the peach. Okay, so I tried the peach. It wasn't too sour. And I'm guessing, I don't know if the pictures kind of depict the sourness of the product or something because like these characters are mainly happy except for that little guy here. Um, and this guy looks pretty intense, so I don't know. But the peach really tasted like peach gum. It was really good, really soft. I liked it. So that was great. Yeah, that one's really good. And then when you start chewing on it, you hit like a sour little ball inside or something that you start to hit you with the with the sour taste. But it was really good though. The grape was pretty sour. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty sour. Mm -hmm. But it was good though. Come on. Cool. All right, this is I believe one more gum. Fruitio gum, grape gum. And it's supposed to have a strong fruit flavor. So it's just a little tiny piece of gum. They're individually wrapped. So let's give them a try. All right, this is really good. It kind of has the same um, texture as like the that Mexican gum. It's like the same shape. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Um, you get restaurants. I forgot yeah. what the brand is called, but similar shape and texture. And this has a very grape flavor. Um, Almost tastes like grape juice. Yeah. Like kids' grape juice. Yeah, kids' grape juice. Like ocean spray. <laughs> it's really good. There's a lot of these in here because the gum is really small. Okay, so the last one is one of those do-it-yourself kits. Uh, Tauntaun Yuduke. I don't know. I might have said that wrong. And... There are some YouTube utor tutorials that they reference to assemble this because like on the back it is all in um, Japanese. But basically there is like this gummy dough in there and you separate it into the different shapes and like then... You build like a bear that wraps itself around a giant thing of gummy. Yeah. Sort of reminds me of like those clay bunny clay uh, buddies if you watch those unboxings on YouTube of um, my kids are into it so um, but they have this, this for like play-doh but this is like the food version hmm. and you can just punch out the little pieces and make it so and then bite his head off yeah so that's kind of what they end up looking like cool Neat. so that's everything in the box this box was packed with stuff um, it's only $21 a month and it ships from Japan, so that's a pretty good deal for all the stuff that you get. What do you think of this box? That's well, pretty neat. There's definitely a lot of food in there, for sure. For so just that small amount of money. It's all pretty tasty. Hmm. What was your favorite? The gum was actually really good. The, the, grape, the two grape gums. The one that was sour and then the other one with the individually wrapped small one. I liked, I liked the gum a lot and I liked this roll too. Those are really good. I could have like had more of these in this box and been perfectly content. Um, but I really liked everything so I really like this box. If you want to see our full written review you can click the link below. Also down below is my free and almost free subscription boxes and my master list of coupons. So, thanks so much for watching. Thanks a lot. And if you'd like, we would love it if you wanted to subscribe to our channel. Just click the subscribe button. Have a great day. See you later.